So what does climate change have to do with Hurricane Sandy? Here's what you need to know. A lot of people have been wondering what impact climate change may have had in terms of making Superstorm Sandy that much stronger. And the reality is it's, it's kind of hard to tell. And we know that warmer ocean water tends to supercharge hurricanes like Sandy. And the Atlantic Ocean has gotten two degrees Fahrenheit warmer over the last century. And this particular year, has been you've had really warm ocean water. That may have actually helped it form and may have helped it become that much stronger. But Sandy's a little different. It's not just a hurricane. It was actually a, a Frankenstorm that came up from the Caribbean and then met this unusual blocking pattern of air coming from the Arctic. There are some scientists who believe that the melting of Arctic sea ice over the North Pole, which hit record levels this past summer, may actually have contributed to that blocking pattern, may have actually helped push Sandy into the West. But we don't know that yet. But uh, one thing we do know is that sea level rise has been increasing over the past century, largely due to climate change. And when the seas are higher, that makes the kind of storm surges we saw when, when Sandy struck places like New Jersey and, and especially New York City that much stronger. Now we have to wonder what's going to happen in the future. Climate change is almost certainly going to get worse. You'll see warmer temperatures, you'll see higher sea level. That means we really have to watch out for storms like this in the future. It's not necessarily that they'll be that much stronger or more common, but the environment will be ready to, to make those storms all the worse. So, Part of that preparation is going to have to be involve actually reducing carbon emissions, trying to mitigate climate change, trying to make it uh, less catastrophic. But we'll also have to think about how do we live in cities that are in vulnerable areas? How do we live on the coast? After all, 3.7 million Americans live within four feet of high tide. Those are the people who on the East Coast were most threatened by Sandy. Now, some cities have already taken steps to try to prepare for that, that warmer future. London actually is putting a, a sea barrier that in the River Thames that will help reduce the risk of a similar kind of flood, similar kind of sea level rise that we've seen here with Sandy. Of course, cities like Amsterdam in the Netherlands and even New Orleans essentially had to build man-made barriers for, to, to actually exist to begin with. But you know, those kind of very expensive measures may become all the more necessary in the future as the world gets warmer, sea levels rise, those storms get stronger.